we would like to get one last perspective, and I would like to get a perspective uh, from an airman. And I think uh, we have a way of choosing the airman that we're going to get the perspective. I think so. Yeah. I think we do. Yeah. So someone told me that Airman First Class Salvador Ruiz has a perspective that he'd like to share. <laughs> I've heard you got a perspective. I've heard that you have something to say. That after going through Corona, the Board of Visitors, dealing with the uh, wounded warriors, watching that unfold, the Boise State victory, the Navy victory. <laughs> I've heard that uh, Airman First Class Ruiz has some, some a powerful message for the 10th Air Base Wing Headquarters Consolidated Wingman Day celebration. So, so why are you trying to come up with something to say because we just cold called you? <laughs> Who are you and where are you from? Um, I'm in first class Salvador Ruiz. I'm from Fresno, California. Okay. Yes, sir. So tell us about you know being in Fresno and joining the Air Force. What made you want to join the Air? How was life in Fresno? And what made you want to join the Air Force? Well, I did a junior ROTC in high school. Yeah. And that really inspired me to want to be an airman, especially looking up to the instructors. Uh, we had a retired technical sergeant and a retired colonel, and they really inspired me to want to become an airman. Yeah, you come from a big family, don't you? Uh, it's... How many siblings? I have uh, three, four sisters, actually. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you forgot one? I, I haven't met one of them, so that's why. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. How was that growing up? Because you were you, you were the only gentleman in the house. Correct? I was yes, I yeah. was the only one. Yeah, so that uh, kind of a, a unique experience. It, it was. It definitely was. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so your family's proud of you. Uh, I would like to think so. Okay. <laughs> so, so let's talk about the academy. How's life here? Oh, uh, it's it's great. It's uh, very very scenic. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> Lots, lots of mountains. Absolutely, I didn't. and uh, it doesn't get as hot as it does in California, so that's really nice too. Very nice. <laughs> it doesn't hit the hundreds. And so, tell me about your work center. Tell me about your organization. You're part of which squadron? I am part of the 10 MDSS. The medical support squadron. And what do you do in the medical support squadron? I'm a uh, laboratory technician. Oh, very nice. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. I'm married. I'm married to a laboratory technologist. So I have much respect for that career. <laughs> Very good. So what do you have to say to the airways? You know, we've had some time to think as we've been asking you questions. So, so uh, after all this stuff, we've had Ms. Nicole Green give us an inspiring talk about uh, service, about serving beyond yourself, about uh, serving your fellow person, about the gratification that comes with that. We've had several nonprofit organizations. Mr. Summers has talked to us just about how powerful nonprofits can be. We've heard from our fellow airmen talking about what they've learned and how they've gotten to know people. People in certain jobs didn't even know each other because they're already always wearing masks. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so what does this all mean? You know, how does it all come together? Why was it useful to spend about two and a half hours, almost three hours, cheering, whooping it up, talking about service? Well, I think it's about what you just mentioned, and that's coming together. Oh, you can't say it's about what I just said. <laughs> yeah. See, that's what the whole day is about, about being a wingman and about coming together and working together. Like, our squadron is uh, made up of, what is it, 10 flights? So it's, uh, we don't really see each other too much. So it's uh, great to be able to see everybody coming together and uh, supporting each other and that's what I would say this day is all about. I've heard that you've been like on the front leading edge of not just learning what you do but teaching others how to do it. That you've been like the person that's leading the fray in the laboratory. Pretty complex business, right? It is, sir, yes. Yeah, so why are you leading? I mean, you're an Air First Class. You can just kind of sit back and just chill. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd say that's a uh part of my job as an airman, and I'd say uh, it's not just me, that's everybody in the in our flight, everybody in the lab it is, does a great job of leading and teaching each other on uh, everything, because everybody has their own perspective, everybody's good at their own uh, different things, Yeah. and uh, that's what it's all about. What are your long-range goals? Sorry, second. What are your long-range goals? What do you want to do, say, let's look at 
15 years from now, where do you see yourself? I see myself uh, making a career out of the Air Force. Okay. And, uh, and what do you see yourself doing? I see myself being a lab tech still. Okay. Uh, getting my. Okay. Are you still going to be getting my MT? Are you still going to be there in first class? Hopefully not. Now? Hopefully not. Uh, so, uh, so, so, 15 years from now, what rank do you see having? That would be the dream. That would be the dream. Would be to hit chief. So, yes, so how many years do you have in now? I have almost two years there. Okay, December. so we got to make you a chief in 17 years. Chief Jones, that's pretty quick, huh? So, wow, we got to get started soon. We got to yes, get started right now. Yes, sir. So I guess it's time to make you a senior ever. No. Identity, and so uh, Rui says that he is, as of this moment, Airman First Class Salvador A. Reed. So we got the right person, right? Yes, sir. All right, because now we got to go find him. But below the zone promotion certificate. Everybody says you're all of that, man. So. So 17, so now you got to get the rest of the stripes in the next uh, 15 years. So, all right, congratulations, my friend. Well done. Well done. All right. Congratulations. Well done. Well done. So now you got to give a speech and the best. So, so a tip is to start with <laughs> Thank you. No, no. Okay. So so who's who's a senior airman select Ruiz's supervisor? Not here? Who is it though? Who's your supervisor? Sergeant Pettis. Sergeant Pettis. Okay, good supervisor? Doing a good job? Oh, okay. She's tough, huh? Yeah, okay. Well, that's, that's, that's the good news, because uh, she got you the senior and below the zone. So, uh, yeah. Make sure you tell her thank you when you see her. All right. Take care.